Okay, let's call the regular meeting, board meeting of River Water District to order on July 25th at 7.36 a.m. Uh, let's show that all board members except um, Jim are present. And uh, let's go on to the first, there's no public here either. Sorry. First agenda item is minutes from June 27th meeting. Any comments? No. No, I would move that we approve the minutes as presented. A second. Moved and seconded to approve the June board meeting minutes as presented. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, let's move on to tab two with the emergency generator press list. Yeah, there's nothing so in there. there. Basically, <coughs> more of um, the, the engineers sent over a punch list for the emergency generator and the contractor has been out mm, with the exception of one thing I know they've finished everything so um, <coughs> and the one thing is kind of a conflict I don't know if they'll finish it or not but so, wait, conflict? well <coughs> Um, they have, when we started this thing, I don't know if you remember how we, um, the guy said he didn't know that the the conduit had to be buried. He thought there was conduit in there for the one, one line. So we allowed him to take it around the uh, reservoir. And he did <coughs> bury it at one point on the outside of the, <coughs> of the uh, blacktop. And then he went around the con um uh, Reservoir, and um, then it just had to go over to the uh, well three pump house. And from the reservoir to the well three pump house, they didn't bury that conduit. And the engineers told them they needed to do that, and they haven't done it yet. And they made some arguments as to why they don't have to. It, it's probably not going to be an easy fix because it would have to. You know, they have to bring it down, and they've already cut it a certain length. And you know, as far as Rick's concerned, he didn't see any problem with it. So why did they not bury it? Was there something that they could I dig don't through, know. No, 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 because it was on the, it's on the edge of the, the black top. They said they uh, fixed it to the black top, and I haven't. You know, we have Jeff's supposed to come out today from the engineering mm -hmm. and check it. To see if that's the and then case. why is your engineer saying it needs to be buried? Is that a code I, issue? I don't know. Well, it's not buried around the uh, around the reservoir. It's just going around the back of it. So why would it need to be buried just yeah. from there, there to there? So we could drive over it or something like that. No, that because be Rick has put up those uh, barriers so you can't okay. go that far because there's already a conduit there with the camera um, wiring right next to it. So, anyway, that's the that's the latest. Okay. Otherwise, then Rick's up there this morning because this is about the first time you could see if it actually is running when they are doing the exercise for the week. It's supposed to run 15 minutes on Mondays. Uh, we did the training. It was pretty thorough, quite thorough. But you feel like they did a good job on the training? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what you're <laughs> I've uh, got it recorded, and we've got a big old thick uh, operating manual too that basically is pretty much. Plus, uh, what we do need to do though is go uh, possibly go into a service contract because once a year at least they need to come up and put a load on it and run it and. So it's only exercise once a year. No, no, it's it's running weekly. For 15 minutes. We're talking load testing. We're talking load testing once a year, once a year, and plus do the service if it needs oil change and stuff like that. I just got a, uh, some information on how much the company that we got the one from would like to do it for. I don't have it here, but um, haven't had a chance to review it. So we'll talk about it probably next month. Uh, so that's really all the generator stuff. 
if I know more after Jeff goes up there this morning, we'll see. Okay, so. Um, I guess that Rick didn't see. The, the tone, is it remote? Okay, so is it tied into the. It is now tied into the telemetry, plus on Friday um, <coughs> we had Larry out and they've. Uh, He's put a run time on there so you can see when it does run, you know, and all the on hours. Dashboard yeah, on the dashboard thing and did a bunch of stuff that we've really been wanting to have done for a while. So, things are looking up on that part of it. Okay, so that, uh, so could you turn it on remotely then? If you need, I don't know why you need to. I guess if somebody said there's powers out there and you need to... Well, it's supposed to turn on remotely to, yeah. if it goes out. Yeah. 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 But you would get an alert if that... If it oh, yeah. 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 If it's going on. Okay. Well, then again, when it, does it turn on automatically or would it just turn on only when it needs to run? If the power goes down, it turns on automatically. Okay. It's exercising once a week for mm -hmm. 15 yeah, minutes. So. And then once a week, things on schedule, so you know what's happening. Mm -hmm. happening. Yeah, but until Friday, we didn't have it on the a runtime thing, so we couldn't tell. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. and and we July 4th, we weren't here, and you know, so this is. What time does it kick on? At eight o'clock. Okay, so what's it? Is that the wake up call to all the people on <laughs> the hill there? <laughs> Is, do you know uh, I don't know. It's not any louder than the blowers and everything else that people run up there, I don't think. So, um, do you have a. Is there a sensor on the fuel tank in your. Oh, yeah, there are sensors in there. So, stuff. you know when the fuel is getting low. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So, what's the maximum length of time you can run? Um, I think. It's 24 hours. It's got a, uh, but that's full load and full, you know, running all the time, you know. So, anyway. Okay. It's nice. It's Mercedes. It's, it's a Mercedes. Huh? That's a Mercedes. It's actually made by Benz? Yeah. Benz. yeah. It's cool. Much nicer mm -hmm. than Scapooses. I go by that all the time. Ours is bigger. So we got us a Mercedes. Yeah, we got some Mercedes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to tell our customers that. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's okay. in the meeting right now. Yep. <laughs> so they can all go up and look at it. Okay, so that's tab what three. you bought. <laughs> yeah. I got two. To, well, you got all that's, kinds of Mercedes. I told you one of mine that we could have this. <laughs> so you take your car up there. Yeah, yeah park it. You've got a bike. Yeah, maybe not a mini car. Uh, okay, so that's it. Jeff, three. Any other questions or comments on generator project? Okay, we um, we went to tab three. three. I'm sorry, that was tab two. Um, <coughs> looks like we are clearing out some aged receivables. Wait, what is our policy? Respect to this, I mean, do we have anything in our ordinances or our policies and procedures related to bad debt specifically? Not specifically, we just have it where if they're delinquent if they're over the tenth of the month, you know, following the billing. Specific, and then those that remain in the district, we shut them off. These are basically people People's that have left moved on. So, yeah, some of them have totally moved on. Well, I, I, a couple of them are, I, I know are dead. Yeah, a couple yeah. of them that I know are um, live still in their towns. I, actually, this, this must have been a secondary residence for a couple of them that I know. Mm, oh, they, yeah. they had rentals. Yeah. Because they still live in their regular houses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to. Aren't in our district. Yeah, then. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm still trying to figure out why David Hamilton has three accounts for the same address. Oh, because he gets it in between time when he has renters and he doesn't pay it. Mm -hmm. Which shouldn't happen. Because There's another guy uh, that basically told me to shove off for interim billing. Said, I'm not living there, I'm not responsible for it. So that's not how it works. 
Is <laughs> that how taxes work? It's not how it works. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to say it. No. If you don't want <laughs> water there, turn it off. We'll turn it back on when we get any kind of... I, I will say that the best That's name not how on it works this entire either. list is <laughs> True Pig. Is that for, <laughs> true is that for real? <laughs> I can't yeah, his uh, sisters were Ima and Yura. <laughs> Can you imagine somebody doing that? I least truly they did. You're a never existed. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. But I heard. I'm a truly did. Yeah. Seriously? Was, yeah. Uh, her father was an oil billionaire way back. And he had a sense of humor. Either wow. that or he hated her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was a philanthropist in Houston. Donated huge amounts of money. I'm a pig. I'm a pig. Did she did she marry them? No. I think I changed my first name. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I and my last name. I changed my last name. my first name to my dad's up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really. Yeah. Well, as for your question, the only thing I know is that and I I'm not sure what Dan does, but I know Mary Jo used to send out three letters. And if after the three letters, just wrote them off. Yeah. Because we're going back to 2002 with some of these guys. Right. So, I mean, we, we should have long, I think. No, those are. Everything on that list that you have your finger on, yep. those are written off. Okay. Okay, so. Yeah, How so do we know that? So, because huh? it's Plus it's right off. Bad yeah. debt right off. So we're not going after this. We're not going after them. The only thing is, is uh, anytime we put in a new customer into the billing software, if it even like remotely resembles a name on this list, it says, hey, check, check out this name. Yeah. Is this the mm -hmm. same person? And I've never had one be the same person, but um, you could reinstate that debt through the billing software that, that you've written off if they came back. Okay. Well So okay then I, I guess I misunderstood. This is just a so this is just a listing to kind of show these guys aren't all early. Yeah and I don't know how yeah, far back the the, the collection agency the can go. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. would think there's a, a time limit. Yeah. yeah especially yeah. names on there who are deceased. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or companies that no longer exist. Like, yeah. yeah. Was it Bella Vista Homes. Yeah. Well, we actually took them to small claims. Really? And have a small claims against the owner and that. But he's never paid it. He just has a claim against him. So, this is, he's, our collection agency is going to go back to 2002? Oh, I don't, uh, I don't. As far as they can. I mean, they told us? Well, well no. So, you so just the, ran this list. Uh, so, the first page, age receivables, this is actual debt in the billing software right now. Yeah. Not written off. This is active debt. This all this could for sure, you know, obviously the the ones that are uh, I'm not sure. Some of this is probably final out. You would probably only send final out customers because anybody else of these more recent ones, sixty one days like that would might be like some of the shut off people right there, but anywhere beyond that that's gotta be people that are for sure not there anymore or their water's just locked off which there's one that we know of there bad debt ride offs we can ask them about these because the that's just debt that we've taken off of our books billing software but maybe they can look at it and say yeah we can pursue this that's essentially all the only other information they would need is Maybe the last phone numbers that we had for him or any other email address, contact info. So, okay, so, let me get this straight. The first page is active debt. The names of the following pages are not part of the first page. Correct. Right. Those are Step written off. The following yeah. pages are already written off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just to represent it. I mean, why do we have this? Are we going to do anything with this? Yeah, we're gonna, we can give it to them and see what they can do so with it. So we can get a few out of it, maybe. Maybe. No. <coughs> but I think, like, you, you can just take said, out the ones. Yeah, all the way back to 2002. We can go back to whatever day is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure there's some kind of rules on it. I don't know what the, how far back they can go. My curiosity is, I thought you were writing some off. They don't show you. 
It well, goes back I've, to 2012. But it's yeah, and those are the, probably the last two on there ones that I've done. But the any day. No, you weren't here in 12, 12, 2012. I thought you wrote some off. Where did you get the list? I did a report, and I did it from the beginning to yes, Friday's date, and it only went up to 2012. Right, which the debt that I thought we went through and mm -hmm. wrote some off. Yeah, you did. Look. How come they don't show? I don't know. I don't in the report. Well, maybe this were, it looks like this was only run from 2002 to 2012. No, it was run to, to hmm. uh, Friday's. Well, this gives us a, an idea, enough of an idea of what's going on. So, I mean, a very. Let's see, I, I tried to do it just from since he's there, yeah. and it said there's no matching records. So, and I thought he'd written some off. Yeah. I thought it was screwing well, up. But. Well, <clears throat> upshot, we got ourselves distracted looking at the list. <laughs> You're proposing to bring an FCS to do collection for, and you've done it. You're not proposing you completed that transaction. Okay. We hired them. They're going to go in, bring out Rocco and <laughs> uh, Guido. The guy, Guido. 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 Legs and get us our money back. That's the plan. Just the guy that, the That's guy that man. came out, Brad. He's a big guy with a monster handshake. He can probably. Yeah, he did that. He, he can squeezed probably, his hand. He can probably. He said, get "Did he squeeze back. your hand that hard?" <laughs> so, okay, so and they, they get paid part of what they collect, I assume, or do we pay them uh, a fee outside of what they collect? What we can do, and what we were told, is we can. Put a fee on the outstanding debt of forty percent, and they take forty percent. So then we so, so we the total would amount we'd get the total, and they would still get paid, and right. they would still get paid, and they would only. I thought it was thirty percent. Is there commission? I think that's uh, must be. So these bills are uh, grossed up by thirty. Thir so it's thirty for standard collection. So the standard forty so for legal. Or so whatever. the guy who owes that we have a judgment against, we could stick this guy on mm -hmm. him and add forty percent to the judgment. Right. Again, I don't. We never talked about the past ones because we were just trying to get it going uh, for this, this, but. There's some significant ones in here. I mean, there's a lot we could wipe off, you know. So will yeah, we just... 47 cents. Will we just do it yeah. that way? And just say, look through that list and do anything over X amount of dollars we wish you go after? We could. Other yeah, else, I we would do that. Care. Yeah. Yeah, don't, let's not waste this time. Yeah. Right. Go after 47 and 27 cents. Yeah. There's like 20 cents, 2 cents. Dollar 88. I mean, it'd be, yeah. I think, for him to... Make it worth his while. It's got to be worth. A, it has to be a couple hundred dollars. I would think so. I mean, but if, if you set two hundred as the limit, there's not there are so many in here. You might have to because no, there's not because one a hundred dollars would mean he get would I mean, get they, thirty bucks. They kind of stated that they're they would look at all that. You know, I'm sure they cherry pick which ones they push for the most, but. Well, we need to ask them, what's your minimum amount that you would even review action on? I feel that we kind of did that in our meeting, and he said that there wasn't one. Yeah, I mean, I guess they're looking at it as a portfolio, but I just assume they spend their time wisely. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure that they do. They're a business, yeah. and we're still probably a small customer to them. Yeah. yeah. So this would be going after the guy who cut our bolts and stuff, right? Sure. I okay. mean, but but for us to send it over, I mean, we're not we're not paying them anything if they don't collect, and they're not getting paid if they don't collect. So yeah. I'm sure yeah. they. It's a win-win. Basically, we get some money back. Hopefully, we clear a bad debt for a little yeah. bit. And well, they from paid. what right. I read from this, though, if we submit this form, then there's. Um, each one of these addresses is worth five dollars because mm -hmm. in the contract it says any account. account that we pull back um, we have to pay them five dollars for mm -hmm. and if it, somebody comes in and pays the balance to us we actually have to forward a commission to them 
because that's how the contract's written. So if they... So if they go and they so contact Joe Public and say you owe us a hundred bucks, or or River Grove District one hundred and forty bucks, they come in here and they pay a hundred. We still owe them forty. We still owe them forty. Well, that one that wouldn't happen because we have to add a charge. We have to add that thirty percent charge to their account. So oh yeah, but so we're, it's going to show up that they owe so that. So they're still not cleared. Then, yeah, unless they pay us in a hundred thirty bucks. Then we have to send that thirty bucks to. Uh, well, we pay the thirty bucks to them anyway, but if they don't pay us one hundred and thirty, they're not cleared. They right. Still are, if they only pay us a hundred, they still owe us thirty pay. bucks. Right. So we still carry on the boxes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know anyone who's done business with them? He contacted them. Well, Walton Valley Water uses them, and Clean Water Services uses them, and I thought he said, like, City of Beaverton, and several others, I'm sure. Well, it just makes sense. Well, we, we gotta, gotta give it we a gotta try. We gotta go after it, right? So, and if it doesn't really cost us anything, I mean, I think, it, to John's point, it could theoretically cost us five bucks plus. You know, yeah. if we get an argument on the fees, mm -hmm. we eat some of the fees to recover all of our... Well, I sent it over, and uh, the attorney three. said we have the legal right. Mm -hmm. So it should be fine. And then down the legal right, whether or not... We have a legal right, but whether or not we choose to enforce it, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Nice, and you got somebody who's just, just going to clear up the... Yeah. That we're sympathetic to or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think we can collect... On, uh, wait, on people who have passed away unless we can go get something from their estate. But if their estate's closed... Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So which ones did you say you know that they're passed away? Lloyd Minor. And I think Edith Stark is. Mm -hmm. Did she have one? I think all so. this stuff. I have a mind full of garbage. Lloyd, useless stuff. <laughs> where did Lloyd usually use to live? That name sounds familiar. On uh, Child's Road. He had the little garden stand occasion. Okay. Sold stuff out of his garage. Well, mm -hmm. plus I thought that she had declared bankruptcy. So. More than one time. More than one time. But that's probably, that's the balance after the bankruptcy mm -hmm. was. And there was one other and I forget who. Oh, Jim. Has he passed away? I thought, but I could be wrong. Uh, our, our former he should I have. He's in the, the coast. Yeah, every he's called me every so often. Oh, yeah. The last thing I didn't oh. know he had, but he yeah. should have. I mean, he was really sick. Yeah. I don't know who told me that. That's the same name. <laughs> All right, so there's nothing to approve there. That's just FYI for us. Mm -hmm. Now we are now approaching our bad debt. I still do. Walk <laughs> 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 down their driveway. Break the windows on there. We could get uh, you know Brian and Dan to grow their beards out. Look more like ZZ Top. Oh yeah. <laughs> Your baseball bat. Yeah. Your biker jackets. Yep. yep. All right, um, so that's it for tab three. On to tab four about the audit. You just kicking it off? Yeah, kicking it off. So we, we set some items. Dennis does it a little differently than Polly Rogers. We, I guess they all had him stuff sent to him, but he does a lot of pre-audit work just at his office, and then he comes out for like a day. So I sent him over a bunch of stuff that he requested. And there's a few more things to send, and then uh, he said as soon as we get him everything, we'll just get on, on the schedule for him to come out for a day. Um, but I like working with him. I think DJ likes working with him. So it's pretty good. Pretty good, uh, good relationship there as long as uh, he's willing to work with us, I think. Um, so a practical question, not a... Not a judgmental question. Okay? This is my caveat. I know he's a pretty old guy. How old is he? 75. Okay, so, do, do we think he's going to be able to keep doing this for a while? Or what, what's our. 
No. Hey, there's, he's got a, there's an a guy associate. Yeah. I mean, he's the one that's asking, you know. So he's still actively involved. Huh? He's actively involved. Oh, he, oh, yeah. He is the guy. He is. He's the guy. I don't know that the other guy is a CPA. He might be. I just, you know, I worry if he's going to get sick or if he can't fulfill his work, you know, what do we, what do, we do? He's making We put it up for an RFP and go look for another one. That's all we can do. Mm-hmm. Or see if, you know, that Steve is, you know, you have to be certified a municipal auditor in right. order to do it. So if Steve isn't, then we have to look elsewhere. Well, I mean, it seems like it's going smoothly since he's been doing it. He's mm-hmm. Yeah, he's totally smart. He's able to answer all our questions and put, put me to task and stuff. <laughs> so that's good. Good. <laughs> all right, so. On to tab five of the um, finance report. Please. All right, so tab five is <coughs> kind of basically what we would normally see. So now we're into a new fiscal year. So tab five represents July 1 to I think July 15th is when I cut the info off. That's what it says. So, um, as far as reconciliations in the new fiscal year, uh, we got to get rid of that, uh, or don't have to see the uh, unclaimed property that was showing up in there. Everything's so so. You said there's a you wrote a hundred ninety six dollar check to whom? Uh, that it Including went that. to the Department of Lands or something for the okay, state so of we Oregon. Send them the money; they manage it. We give them a list of who the unclaimed property is. Well, yeah, exactly. They hold on to the money if somebody comes and claims it. And they give it back to them, otherwise it just sits so in a... So from our perspective, it's gone. We don't, it doesn't sound going to come back if it's not claimed. It's, yeah, there's... managing it 100%. Yeah, there's rules on okay. when things have to be sent there and deposits you have to send yearly. Okay. Um, unclaimed funds, I think, like overpayments. So what is our proposal then to do that every year at year end? We clear the decks on unclaimed property? Well, it's, it depends on what the property is. Like I said, so for deposit, unclaimed water deposits, you have to do it yearly. That's the law. Um, banks are under different things for like safety deposit boxes and abandoned accounts and but things like that. 99.9% of our unclaimed property is going to be water deposits, right? We don't, we don't hold any other property. It's got to be it. I mean, water yeah. deposits are like uh, so overpayments. What, so that's pretty much what we're going to have. Yep. So our plan is once a year. Once a year. At year end, we clear the deck. Yep. October. Zero, zero out the account, send a check to the state. And, uh, okay. and that delta is going to grow during the year until the year June 30, we'll get rid of it, right? Uh, it's, it's not a it's not a delta until we write the check. Okay. So it's October, we write the check, and and this year, uh, as I had stated in a previous board meeting, that we had created a sub account of our sixty seventy five is our water deposit account, yeah. water deposit applied account, and uh, we're gonna write the the unclaimed property check out of a sub account so it's not going to that number is not going to get pulled into this report this year or something like that. yeah mm-hmm. exactly so we like to see zeros and hopefully we'll keep it that way so then it will be our july board meeting we will see after we've written the check well october why october huh why why october because that's, that's when the state. unclaimed property oh, is due. Yeah. But then why did we write the check now? We didn't. It's sitting in there. It's been sitting in there okay. since last October that you see it recorded in our fiscal year. Got it. Okay, so it was. that's why it's been unbalanced since last October. Yeah. Okay. I got my bad. Yeah. <laughs> got it. Okay. Slow. It's really <laughs> caffeine. Yeah. It's my day. No worries. Uh, yep, so everything's looking good this year. Uh, if you go to tab six, you can see that we're just doing a plethora of transfers around. 
mostly all dealing with the emergency generators, uh, just tracking because we those are funded out of the STCs and the capital improvement fund, so we have to reimburse ourselves for those payments. So I have a question. The last one here, source water protection grant payouts. Yes. So there's no corresponding debit there. We wrote. Where right. is that money? That money comes from the, comes state, from the state. From the state into the non-restricted fund. It doesn't, don't we then have to transfer it into checking because we're giving out the grants? Well, non-restricted is basically the same as checking. It's just a place that we could hold money and earn better interest. Okay. So we, we had been taking money out of non-restricted towards the end of the year to just as working capital, so we just opted to leave it in there. But when somebody comes and says, I had service done on my septic, I'm going to submit a grant request, and we decide to pay them back, that money comes out of checking, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. we have to transfer it from non-restricted -restric to the checking office. Not that. necessarily, if you don't need to, you it's just leave it. So when we write the check, uh, it gets recorded as an expense in, uh, in QuickBooks to the source water grant and then when we receive the money it gets recorded as a, a income basically that will offset that expense but where the money actually goes into doesn't matter as long as it's in non-restricted or checking if it went into the the, risk, the restricted account yeah. then we would need to send it over to one of those two okay but yeah Okay, that makes more sense. Do we still have the information that was handed out that night on the grant? One of my neighbors may be appropriate. The for information, us. like Just the, the it was application. A, yeah, an application for brochure and a pamphlet. Yeah, brochure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'll they get don't have it here. I'm sitting in the. Tom did. They come to the yeah. yeah, the one close to the corner, the north corner. No, actually, it's. Um, yeah, it is north. Of, it's north of us. Yeah. Uh, okay. On a Saturday, I stopped or knocked on somebody's door because I noticed they're getting the tank bumped. Uh -huh. Told them to give DJ to call the water district. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're like board member in action. You're out there in the community. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, because uh, we need to get him in right away. Okay. Okay. Are you running for re-election? Are you already working? Knocked on the door. Too. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let me say it ends in October, but we wanted to do like our last submission in like sep early September yeah. to make sure we to get, get reimbursed yeah. because reimbursed. the way they take time. Yeah. yeah, I will give it to them. Yeah. So it's Campbell's. Remind me. I know we got to go locate them. It yeah. It's got to be repaired for. She's if they, they pumped, pump, they're probably inspecting. Yeah. That's what I'm. So I think they were pumped, pumped, and I think they got other. I issues. think she had. When the woman I was talking to too had some issues too. Hundred dollars for inspection, up to a thousand for uh, repair. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, the one you guys were at was across the street from us uh, last week. It was a meter, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, that was just a meter. Yeah. But we got to locate about that sewer. Well, they said fixing sewer. And I uh, knew there wasn't sewer no, there, no, no, no. so I figured I knew what it was. Yeah, yeah. fixing. Yeah. I will take something. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so that's tab six on. To, yeah, let's just go tab through the rest of the finance report. And then we'll go so tab seven. Okay, so tab seven. Uh, year in this is year in review, fiscal year in review. Uh, so I guess. There was perhaps uh, some confusion about what you were asking in the last board meeting about how you wanted. But basically, what I thought you were asking is basically, are we spending money or are, or are we are we making money for the year? Yeah. Generally, so that's why I I put this first page on there, um, which I felt. You know, generally for net income, or uh, that it was showing that we're making a little bit. Of DJ was wanting a different report. So, in translation, we budgeted 
to lose three hundred twenty-one thousand dollars. That's right. Well, that would be I, the way that I look at that is like I think like worst case scenario, if everything that we had every expense that we had budgeted for which was a lot of those are like these yeah. contingent yeah. Right. pipe Clean it, breaking sure. right. every little thing then it might cost more than we're taking in for the year but we can cover it because we have those reserve funds um, obviously that's you know, never happened before well who was it was it Jim or was it Bill? Somebody came in as a new board member and was, I think it was Bill. Yeah. Looking at it and just basically saying, and we're budgeting to lose money. That doesn't make sense. And I mean, this kind of shows that again. It's like, you should budget to break even, it seems to me. Mm -hmm. And then if you don't spend those contingencies, then you drop that into a reserve account. So I mean, we can't make, make money, we don't make profit. But it seems weird to budget. I think that. To be, at a deficit position, but I guess this is public budgeting, isn't it? <laughs> and I think that we do budget even when you don't look at like capital outlay, yeah. because our our budget balances. Um, but that's what we were trying. We were trying to look at that on Friday, and it got late too fast. But um, you know, I think a lot of a lot of our this in the budget that number has all of our capital outlay projects which is the gen generator like all <laughs> of our debt finance. our capital. generator yeah. project capital improvements we're yeah. not funding okay. that in one year yeah you know it's that, you're right that makes sense okay so that that, that puts it into context and I, and I like the first line here we, we actually were we operated pretty efficiently right and we were looking year. at the prior year's audit and was showing that our uh, cash carryover balance was like 5,000 more. So uh, this is, you know, basically what, I, we didn't run the same report that Dennis ran, but uh, this is what I'm kind of thinking that it's gonna probably be that it's gonna be like the 12,000 on this year's cash carryover. We're not, we're not uh, carrying over ex exorbitant amount of, amounts of money and we're we're still putting away the money that that we budgeted for those capital capital right. capital projects. Well, and we're carrying forward money in most years, right? Yeah. So uh, I, I think we're healthy and fine. But I guess you know back to the rate <coughs> study and the whole reason for rate increases to build this kind of ninety day rainy day fund. Mm -hmm. I don't know when we get there, right? When do we have it? When? What are we? What? What do we look at? To see? First of all, what do we need for ninety days? Right. And where do we look to see that we have it? Right. It's you know we don't. That's not evident in the way we run our books. So. Right. You know we we agreed to a rate increase for that specific purpose, and I don't know if we'll how to know when we get there. I think we have to go back to the rate lady and yeah. talk to her. And see if we're doing what we need to do. But what I was uh, saying is, you, you you tend to go by the percentages of the budget and look at it, and everything is in this profit versus loss budget versus actual report. Yep. Is in <clears throat> you know the capital improvement fund. If you look at income, you're going to see the SDC charges right here under everything else. So it's hard to separate out the percentages, you know, when you have all the funds in the one report. But if I were to, <clears throat> you know, the, the way I would probably try to figure that out is I would take our annual total expenses, $713,000. I divide that by 12, and I multiply that by three. That's what we need for a 90-day, because that's funding our expenses. Our, Where are you at? When I go to, it's page five of six, total expense. Or you could just look at the front cover page. I yeah, that's right. It's, <clears throat> but, but that's our... Well, see, there again, 
all the expenses for all the capital improvement fund is in there. So how can you, how can, what you need is just the general operating, operating, operating fund. Yeah, we want operating expenses. Yeah, because if you look up above for the debt capital outlay, you've got the emergency generator, and so that you can't divide by 12. And no. no. Yeah, that would require exactly. almost $20,000 a month in operating expenses. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm saying. This, so we have this to take report those big expense items out of there. Yeah. And come up with just an operating mm -hmm. expense. Which we were trying to do late yeah, on we were Friday and the spreadsheets were not being friendly with us. Yeah, that's they were not complicated. <laughs> well, you, you export it to Excel and they have these um it's the QuickBooks formulas. Formulas that are yeah. really and so I was taking out, you know, the income whatever went to the capital improvement then the expenses mm -hmm. what came out of the capital improvement and I was trying to total it down at the bottom it would give me zero yeah every time <laughs> every time <laughs> zero that's not right yeah. you know? these are real numbers real big numbers yeah. they don't so equal zero <laughs> but the other way to do it would be to take um, the, all of the total expense numbers except capital outlay. So everything before eight thousand. You, you could do that. Too. So all the other expense accounts. You could do that, yeah. Just add up those totals. And you, or or I mean better yet, subtract capital outlay from total expense. So seven thirteen minus two oh five. Mm -hmm. So you get five hundred and eight thousand dollars of total operating expenses a year. Mm -hmm. right. Well, then multiply by four. I guess, and I got what we need for operating contingency. So we need about 100 bucks, right? 125. $125,000. In reserve, I, I don't know where that goes. Is it sitting in a reserve account? Is that well, it's, I mean, a, it's so a combination a of our non restricted fund and what we have in our checking. But it's basically. also in the budget under contingency, and we're mm -hmm. for the first time over 100000 this year in the contingency. Yeah, so we're, we're getting them. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. So, yeah, I guess it would be, be nice to ask the rate study person what she thinks. Yeah, what it would take. Yeah, what, it, what specifically are you talking about? Or maybe we ask our auditor, too. Yeah. Because he knows our accounts better than she does. But yeah. Anyway, okay, sorry. but if you look at that, you know our income was budgeted six fifty three seven forty four, and we made six seven seven forty seven, which one hundred and two percent, which is good. Nice to have a little, but not too much. Right. Nice, nice to make it. There were several yeah. times we didn't yeah. make it. We came close, but yeah. not quite. Well, I, no, I think our. I, I guess what it's showing is that we budgeted. Pretty effectively. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're close to all of our numbers, and we're also um, you know, trying to build up operating contingency. So if we need it, we can keep running. And you got to understand that when I'm doing the budget, and okay, I know the second project is the the generator on the trailer, you know, yeah. but. If we go beyond that, I don't know what's gonna what we're gonna go into. So any of the funds that are in the capital improvement fund, I budget it and leave it at zero at the bottom because if you don't budget it, you can't use it. Mm -hmm. So that's why it looks like we're budgeting in a deficit because we're gonna spend all the yeah, we'll mm -hmm. find some spend yeah, just so you know. Well, I think that's smart budgeting, but um, I'm just trying to be responsive to the intent of our rate increase. Right? I mean, the other question would be how much of our 102% of revenue is attributable to rate increase? Did we get to 102% because we raised our rates or because we were accurate on our usage? Oh, that's hard to do too because yeah, know, it's, it's going to be lower this year just because of usage of the weather for the summer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, when we figured out the budget, you know, doing this year's, um, it was like fifty-three thousand. Yeah. You know, that was attributed to the rate increase. You know, just. 
figuring out the difference between last year and this year. So. Okay. All right, so we lost Dan. The, so we have the year-end budget to actual, and then we have the June 30 budget to actual. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the current year is not very mature. It's only 15 days involved in it or whatever, so we're not How many involved in the I look through it and, you know, for me, if, if there was one expense tracking, you know, close to 100% or something like that, that would be scary, but there isn't. So. We've had that happen, though, yeah, very we, early on. Usually it's a small account. Like, I remember one year we had PPE or something, we bought all the confined space yeah. and stuff. Yeah. We tapped out that whole account. We also have done that with flat fees. Yeah. And they come early in the year. Yeah. And you're, you're right there. But you don't anticipate anymore. I, I had a question slightly related to our the email string that we're going to get to in a little bit here. Um, there was an account that I never realized we had um, that I didn't know it was. Bear with me a second. Um, something about campaigns and. That was nine for back in the publication and elections. Yeah, publication and elections, yeah. 60 30. Mm -hmm. So, what goes into that? What goes into that is the. Uh, Most is our advertising. Our advertising. Meetings. Plus, you have to pay when you have an election. Yeah. Okay. We pay every every time there's an election. Okay. And sometimes it, I mean, the even though we didn't have one this year, it probably was paying from last year's because mm -hmm. by the time they get it to us, it's. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we yeah, because the election is in, is it May? May. It was in so May. So it wouldn't be done by July. Mm -hmm. So, but most of that is publication expenses. Publication, yeah. yeah, yeah we like post, post the budget. 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 Uh, and it can vary depending on yeah, because you have to put in there. participating in that particular election. Right. Right. Yeah, there's right. no guarantee. Well, the publication piece varies depending on how many rate hearings we have and yep. other Budget. Yeah, yeah. You always have a certain amount for the budget. Yeah. Okay. For the committee meetings and the public hearings. I just never noticed that we had that, but I guess it makes sense. Alright, so that's tab uh, seven, tab eight. So eight is like jumping back to current year. Yeah. <coughs> so uh, balance sheet. Everything's fine. I mean, we just started out again here, so the numbers are pretty small. And uh, for the budget to actual for this year, you know, we kind of had some extra money in June, so I transferred the money to, uh, to capital improvement fund. I think we did fifteen thousand, and then I went ahead and transferred the money that we budgeted for unemployment and the truck and equipment fund because it was in there. So that's taken care of for the, at least the truck and equipment fund and the unemployment fund, those are done for the year. And then we'll continue to transfer money to the capital improvement fund with each billing that we do. Cool. All right. So that's financial report. I have a motion to approve the report. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded to approve the financial report. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. I'll pay the bills. I move to pay the bills. Second. Move and second to pay the bills. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right. Uh, on the new business tab nine. DJ? Just a second. Okay. Yeah. I think we went through all of the. Um, items for the emergency generator. The pump reads as you see behind us, it, they are lower this year from last June, mostly because of the weather, I believe. We're doing shutoffs next, this Wednesday. There were 31 notices sent out. Hopefully it'll be down to 10 or so, or less. Uh, I just wanted to let people know on the budget that Basically, I did some formatting errors when Dan was putting them in. Uh, it didn't change any of the numbers. It just was formatting. So, and I copied 
page five twice or something. Anyway, um, again on the source water protection, you know, he reminded from the state, Tom Petit, that uh, we need to get the funds as much as we can spent and then re reimbursement in. We've done the nitrate testing. We're going to start on the lead testing, which we have a few more people interested in doing that. I would think we'd have more than a few. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we just have a few. That's good. Yeah. Where does the uh, paranoid? Portland Public Schools, former, where does she live? Probably not. <laughs> 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 yeah. I don't think she lives in, oh, I don't no, know. No, she lives in. She doesn't live in our district, no. anyway. So, um, really, that's all we have. I had, <laughs> I was looking for quotes, and I just had to look up what the two. Yeah, that things. brings Isn't us that to I something that I'm very uncomfortable with. Political stuff in this report. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, it, it makes me very uneasy. Oh. Um, people get very touchy regardless of how they vote or what they believe. I think politics doesn't belong in this. Would the third one be a problem? Even? Two? I don't know that I would even do that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's just... <coughs> okay. I feel... Yeah. No, I... That... Nobody's going to jump on me about it. Yeah, I mean it's just I felt like I had to bring that up. Yeah. I think if you read it critically, mm -hmm. three quotes, all of them very... Nonpartisan. Non yes, they are neutral. They're very neutral. And I understand that we're just kind of having fun with it, putting some stuff in the in the notes that are kind of topical for what's going on. But mm -hmm. but I agree. I think it's just okay. we should. Yeah, I thought about it a little bit. Because like like people do see it and people freak out and they're quoting Donald Trump in their meeting, so I mean, it's not like that's our <laughs> intent to support him yeah. in any way. It's just it, it opens the door. So yeah, I would be more comfortable if it were not. Yeah, there. it's just okay. No. Thank you. And I would say even past political, um, like John F. Kennedy, John F. Kennedy. I think yeah. probably <laughs> yeah. need to avoid it, I guess. That's the easiest Especially way. Especially election season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like he's going to change his opinion or anything. No. But no, John F. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's true. But it's easier and cleaner just to leave it out. Well, I think okay. that's pretty much an indisputable quote basically saying we're mm -hmm. together, which mm -hmm. is probably right, but, mm -hmm. um, but still. Play nice in the sandbox. Yeah. yeah. yeah um, okay. It didn't offend me in any way, just so you know, I don't, I wasn't, but I can see Chris's point, no, Tom's it, point that some people might see it and just kind of forget about it. Yeah, it isn't a question of being offended because they're all true statements. Um, or they were made by people. Whatever you say. Well, it's uh, under those like wisdom quotes. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. and that was where it came from. I think that anything that even vaguely smells of politics right now is <coughs> not a good idea. Lord Tennyson, Cicero, you know, Aristotle. Machiavelli. Yeah. <laughs> Aristotle. Throw all those in there. Yeah. <laughs> well, they don't. Aristotle really is political. <laughs> I don't. Those are okay, but these yeah. are not so much. Bur uh, the Burns. He's the Scottish. Robert poet. Burns. Robert Burns. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry. We could have a poem. Don't worry about we it. Have, yeah. We have a poem. Yeah, Robert yeah. Burns poem. Yeah. About should we, politics. Should we open uh, our board meetings with uh, a <laughs> Robert Burns or reading? Edison or Burns yeah. or reading? <laughs> or reading. As long as it's not charge of the light brigade. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so thank you. That's the uh, updates and any commissioner, volunteer, or who wants to sign up for checks? I, I can maybe do it. I'm going to be in Scotland for a week starting on Friday. What is this? Wow. I play golf there. To Donald's. Yeah, it's all golf. I'm not going to Donald's. No. Place. Are you going to St. Andrews? I'm going to St. Andrews. Oh, oh cool. Yeah. I'm going to Scotland next year. Excellent. I don't have to pay for it. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's even more <laughs> excellent. <Yeah. laughs> no, my parents are taking 50th anniversary, so oh. they're like, we want to go, but we don't want to go alone. So, hey, well, how lovely! I'm gonna take yes. fam our family and my That's brother. So. Cool. cool. Do you, uh, 
Are they adopting? Oh, yeah, he's one. <laughs> long, long lost brother. Uh, okay, so I'm not really available to sign for 10 days there, so I probably shouldn't. I haven't signed for a while. But. If so, you want to sign, I will fill in for you. I can sign after that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. If Chris can do that first week, yeah. then I'll do the the first week of August, okay. and I'll do the right okay. rest of the weeks as long as you remind me. And I was thinking about this today, driving in, that for both John and I, maybe while well, you're still driving to, to, to your younger son over here. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. over there. So, well, but next year I'm actually with. The, what, what time does Lake Lake Ridge High start? So that's the thing, seven thirty. So I'm going to be driving up there. I don't really want to come all the way back. Yeah, see, the thing is, is I'm going to be driving three. Connor up yeah. because I'm going to drive Connor to school, then I'm going to drive to work because it gives him a, it's going to give him a, a few more minutes in the morning yeah. before having to catch the bus. Uh, yeah. Um, I have to kind of go that way anyway to work. I mean, for me, it used to be easy. I just drop my son off, right? Or drop it off. Like the shooter and then come right back through here for work, but now I'm going to be going to the hill. Anyway, can I, can I drop Connor at your house? Carpool? Anyway, uh, okay. So, how about non agenda items? Anybody? We had one about appropriate board book material. I guess that was not on the agenda. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Oh, I know what it was. Um, we did have a public records request. From an organization, and I was thinking I, there was someone I was going to say in Florida that was called what was it called? Open Open the Books dot com. Open the Books dot com. Wanted to know our wages and our, you know. So who are the, who it was are from your people, through, and how much did they make? And even SDAO knew about it because all kinds of special districts were getting them. Hmm. We said fill out the paperwork because they wanted of course not to be not to have to pay anything we figured out how much it would cost to get that information and they actually paid it so not a lot wasn't a lot of money yeah, yeah. yeah. it wasn't a million dollars like no, i remember it wasn't a couple of years ago a few years ago or the oregonian did that and ah. posted everybody's wages on a website yeah. for the county i remember that one quite well well, I figured we were easy. I, I that one doesn't concern me nearly as much as if we had, you know, Eric Brockovich come in to tell yeah. us with the last ten years of our water quality testing reports, and because that one has a potential price tag to it. If they're going to say you should be testing for this or that or the other thing, and they can't spending more money. I mean, they, they can't. They you know? can't. It, public records, whatever's, whatever you have written in a document. You can give them right. the. You can give them the yeah. report. I think what you're saying is that's what their aim is. Yeah, it, to change testing or something. I, I yeah, guess but the they got to change it up above before we it do have to cost do anything. us money. I think maybe if we if scrutiny comes on to our testing process and we're going to do more testing or something like that mm -hmm. than what we normally do, mm -hmm. it's not going to cost us any money if we see what you guys make, right? It yeah. could cost us some, some mm -hmm. embarrassment if it was something to be embarrassed about, but it's not. So We uh, uh, did have, I did go to the state meeting, and it was a lot of discussion on lead and copper and the schools and everything else. And um, They are doing a database for the schools, and there's a new manual out from the EPA on what the schools should do it, to mitigate any kind of lead and copper. And what's funny, because there's a gal that's in charge of labs, or she's part of the labs, and she goes, has anybody ever tested the water that they put in bottled water for lead and copper? Mm. <laughs> and they go, no. You know, we, if you look at the number of kids who tested positive in Portland, two, yeah. and they both got their lead from home. Yeah. Which is where they drink more water than they do at school. Well, but uh, that's not to excuse the school. That's right. Yeah. What right. about Don River Grove? Uh, um, and, uh, have you tested it on Lake Oswego? Lake? Yeah, Lake Oswego tested them along with their others. One test was non detect, one test was way below the limit. So, our, I mean, Lake Oswego took like 50 tests somewhere around there and 
they only had two, and it was mainly um, faucets that never get, you know, one in a janitor's room and one in this, that, and the other. You know, city of Portland, for one, they're going way overboard to do these testing. Well, they have their own lab, and so the lab is offered to do testing for the schools. One school, I don't remember which one it was, turned in 285 tests for the school. Well, if it's a big school. You know, one from each faucet. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. we actually, I worked in the, you know, the building I worked in, mm-hmm. we have one faucet, one of the uh, drinking fountains is turned off because of lead. Oh. Yeah, it's like one of those things where you go into the bathroom. Yeah. Or you just turn on the sink and let it run for 10, 15 seconds because it's a nice brown color when it comes out. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. But, um... I think it's more like iron and rust. Though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Our department used to pay monthly for water. The employees pay for the water. So we had bottled water brought in. Did you test the bottled water? <laughs> <laughs> you just accept that it's... Yep. Is it a bottle? It's got to be good. It's great. It's like the, <laughs> it probably came from the same source. Well, yeah. you know, I have issues with a lot of the water bottles now because a lot of them are designed to buy on grade. Yeah. So, how much plastic are you actually drinking now? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why you get one of these. Yeah. So, anyway, just wanted to tell you about the public request. So, we fulfilled it. Open the books. We dot org. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Okay. Open the books. Dot com. And it's probably one of those either transparency or they're actually probably out actually trying to look for um, people who are. They feed you maybe bilking the public system. Uh-huh. Well, I figured they wouldn't find it with ours. So no, we don't have any PERS things. Well, there's we don't just, have any I've been, re- I mean, I really probably should get rid of the Oregonian because I've been reading. They post these articles like the average public employee makes above the mean salary for working salary. Well, it makes sense because most people working for government are professionals. They're not. Yeah. The average public employee director probably makes less than a civil one position in yeah. the private sector. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. We're, we're no, talking nice. hundreds. Of smooth. Their low end is a little <laughs> higher, but their high end is a little higher. We're lower. talking probably hundreds of thousands of dollars, yeah. if not millions of dollars, yeah. difference yeah. between them. Yeah. And they have the same level, if not more, responsibility because right. of who they're accountable for. And the same level of education in a lot of cases. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway. All right. Well, let's. So, that's not agenda items. Any suggestions for next board meeting? <laughs> well, I, it's probably too early, but um, maybe the following month or whenever it makes sense, I'd like to see some kind of update from our collections guys, see what, how that's going. Yeah, that would be very interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and I actually want a binder with the bigger rings. Where is your binder? That's a loner binder. That's a loner one because really? we didn't have yours back. Because huh. you you were gone it. last time, remember? Yeah, I was, but I didn't get a binder last time. Oh, you're right. Up here. Okay. My fault. My bad. Okay, I think. Uh, Do you want the papers? That's probably it. Okay. Let's Is there anything adjourn the meeting at eight thirty-nine. Not bad, a little over an hour. That's not. I read the minutes and it looks like it was a short meeting. Yeah. Here. There's an off, off the meeting question. Does anybody know why River Grove Water District is River Grove one word? The River Grove two is two words. Yep. What is City this, of River Grove? Well, I was just starting to wonder, like, yeah, City is one word, the school is two, two words. words. Why did they do that? Because they could. Because, it's because the school actually existed before the city. Oh, so the yeah, city yeah. did it wrong. Yeah, well, that's yeah. true. That's school true. did. Yeah, because and we existed before the city too. Yeah, yeah and the city. Uh, I'm taking wrong. And well, the, the city, city incorporated because a bunch of people got scared that Walton was going to come in and incorporate them all, and they were going to put a stop to that. Well, what? I thought it was yeah, like Oswego. Like they did it to yeah. avoid being in Lake Oswego because they were considering if they had the choice to look at twelve in it. But at, at the time, Neil McFarland had Pretty good. Metro. Mm-hmm. He was mayor. 
And he was also sitting at Metro's committee that oh, the made the decision, point. but he did not tell yeah, any public, of his co-city commissioners that this issue was coming up. And I kept asking him, when is that meeting going to occur? Because I knew the significance. And he just lied to me. And he wouldn't tell me. And then finally, I kept calling him, well, when's the meeting? I'll let you know, sure. I knew that the 12 and the city manager would be there. So I called him and said, have you heard anything about Oh, he said, Sherry, we, we, we met three weeks ago. And you guys were then designated into like a sweet service boundary as well as Riverbirds. And he knew it, and he did not disclose to any of his commissioners. They wanted, they wanted it limp. He's a real liar. Thanks. Uh, somebody from... Somebody from the, bye, Sean. Somebody from the state like yeah. emailed like a verification of our information, because they were really and yeah. they had us down as two words. Really, and I said, oh, you know, it's one word, and then we changed some of the contact info, adding Brian on there and stuff. And she said, oh, okay, I just noticed that the that the school is written as two words too, so I'll go ahead and change that too or something. And then now, then I walked by and I was like, it is, but it is two words. That's yeah. weird. So I was like, that one shouldn't be changed. <laughs> okay. Did everybody get that? Uh, I think so. Come on, I'll get it. Okay. Just check. Oh, I did not sign the shape. That's a shot that Sherry to you. Did I send it? No, probably. I sent it over to you. Yeah, here I put your All right, thank you. You thing know, up there. Thank you. Can you give me, you know what river that is? Matoli. No. No. No, that's the mighty and majestic Columbia River. Wow. It's bubbling up right up over there. This is a wow. Canal Flats, British Columbia, or British Columbia. Up. Really? Yeah. That's Thank you. cool. When were you up there? Uh, first uh, week in July. Oh. When I was up at Canal Flats. Going That's to Canal gorgeous. Flats. Yeah. Yeah. Columbia. So you no. got to see the headwaters of so the, the Columbia, Columbia River. River. And yeah. it just bubbles up like the Yeah. Yeah. So the Kokanee River is up actually at a higher elevation. Uh -huh. And there's potholes in the Kokanee River and that water actually seeps down through uh -huh. um, the bedrock and bubbles up at uh, on the uh, south side of the Columbia Lake. Uh -huh. but then the river, the, then the lake empties into the Columbia River and it goes north up to Revelstoke, mm -hmm. bends around and starts south. That's okay. good. Yeah. It goes north and then comes south. Yeah. And oh. I've never even traced it so it goes up the board and then where does it start going north? It starts going north about, I think, Tri-Cities, but there's a place uh, when you cross, like a Medellin Falls up in uh, Washington, where the um, Columbia River is raging uh, rapids, and it's not that yeah. far across. Yeah. Well, then it used to be, then it used to be raging all the way down until yeah, they dammed yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Wide enough, deep enough to have boating traffic before they dammed it. Hmm. So, does your gal have a summer job? What? Does your gal have a summer job? She has two. She does. Working at 